Roderick Strong signs with AEW and debuts on Dynamite. Tony Khan reveals details on Owen Hart Cup Tournament. Sam Punk and Chris Jericho had a planned meeting last Friday, and several NXT stars are currently dealing with injuries. Roderick Strong is officially All Elite. Hey there everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest and today I'm bringing to you the biggest headlines in wrestling today. Adam Cole on Wednesday called out Chris Jericho and told him to come to the ring. Instead, Jericho sent out the Jericho Appreciation Society to attack. While Orange Cassidy and Bandito tried to help out Adam Cole, the numbers game remained in the Jericho Appreciation Society's favor until Roderick Strong officially made the save. The segment ended with Adam Cole and Roderick Strong hugging it out. Shortly after Strong's appearance on Dynamite, Tony Khan confirmed that Strong had signed with the company. Last year, it had been reported that Roderick Strong had requested his release from WWE several times prior to being written off of television. Those requests had gone denied. Additionally, Tony Khan has revealed the details of the Owen Hart Cup tournament. On Wednesday's Dynamite, Tony Khan announced that the opening ceremonies of the Owen Hart Cup tournament will begin at Double or Nothing on May 28th. The tournament itself will be held in Canada, and matches will be held at AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling's Forbidden Door event on June 25th. The tournament finals will take place in Calgary on July 15th. And ahead of what is expected to be his AEW return this summer, CM Punk had that planned meeting with Chris Jericho last Friday. Wade Keller of PW Torch first reported the news. While details are still light as of now, Keller first reported the meeting took place in Florida and the meeting was said to have gone well. Fightful Select then reported Wednesday that the meeting was relatively uneventful, all things considered, and especially when taken into consideration the issues the two have had. In recent months, there have been increased reports of CM Punk returning to the company, intensifying over the past few weeks. He is expected to lead a new Saturday AEW TV show on TNT called Collision, starting this June that will see split crews between Dynamite and the new show. And several NXT stars are currently dealing with injuries. Brian Alvarez reported on Wednesday that Indy Hartwell was legitimately hurt during the NXT Women's Championship main event match at Spring Breakin' on Tuesday. After Tiffany Stratton hit a tope off the turnbuckle and to the floor, Indy Hartwell injured her ankle upon landing. Hartwell was taken to the back while Stratton and Roxanne Perez worked the rest of the match, until Hartwell returned to the ring for the finish. Grayson Waller was also injured during his match against Carmelo Hayes at Spring Breakin'. According to Alvarez, on Wrestling Observer Live, the match went immediately to the finish once Waller became hurt while doing his rolling cutter finish. So Ruka is also legitimately injured. NXT Anonymous posted a video on social media of Sol Ruka being attacked outside the Performance Center. This has been an ongoing storyline in NXT. However, our own Dave Meltzer addressed Sol Ruka's status on Wrestling Observer Radio, noting that she has legitimately suffered a torn ACL. That's your quick news roundup for today. As always, go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments section below, and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Latest.